search hashtag eighth grade unit six lesson six math to find this lesson fast. Eighth grade illustrative mathematics unit six lesson six the slope of a fitted line. Take a moment to give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Problem number one. Which of these statements is true about the data in the scatter plot? A. As x increases, y tends to increase. As the value for x increases, we can see that the value for y decreases. If we plot the points and show the line of the graph, we can see that the slope of the line goes down. And this shows that as x increases, y tends to decrease. So this one wouldn't be true. B. As x increases, y tends to decrease. Yes, that is true. We just proved that. C. As x increases, y tends to stay unchanged. Well, we know that's not true. And then finally, D. X and y are unrelated. That's not true either because you can see that the points on this graph go down as the value for x increases. Problem number two. Here's a scatter plot that compares hits to at-bats for players on a baseball team. Describe the relationship between the number of at-bats and the number of hits using the data in the scatter plot. As the number of at-bats increase, the number of hits also increase. Problem number three. The linear model for some butterfly data is given by this equation. Which of the following best describes the slope of the model? Description A. For every one millimeter the wingspan increases, the length of the butterfly increases 0.238 millimeters. When the wingspan is zero, the length of the butterfly is 4.642 millimeters. But when the length of the wingspan increases one millimeter, the length of the butterfly becomes 4.880 millimeters, which is a difference of 0.238 millimeters. So description A describes the slope of the model perfectly. Problem number four from eighth grade unit six lesson four. Non-stop one-way flight times from O'Hare Airport in Chicago and prices of a one-way ticket are shown in the scatter plot. A. Circle any data that appear to be outliers. I'll circle this one obvious outlier. B. Use the graph to estimate the difference between any outliers and their predicted values. The predicted value of this outlier would lie on this line at approximately 187.50. And the outlier is approximately 437.50. That's a difference of $250. Problem number five from eighth grade unit four lesson 14. Solve y equals this expression and y equals this expression. Since y equals y, we can just write this expression equals this expression. Now let's solve for x. Add 3x to both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. 1x equals 12 or x equals 12. Now that we know that x equals 12, we can substitute the x in this equation with the value 12. Now it reads y equals negative 2 times 12 plus 1 which is equal to y equals negative 23. Now we know that x equals 12 and y equals negative 23. That's the solution. Watch the next lesson, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it. See you next time.